Thanks for joining me. In this video, I'm going to teach you about getting your crypto back and listening to those people who claim they can retrieve crypto back after you have lost it from an investment opportunity. I've got some real life examples. I've got a lady who invested over, I think it was over $100,000 in crypto and lost the lot. She has gone to one of those adverts that you see on Facebook where people claim that they can get your money back. They have told her they can get her money back, but she needed to pay $1,800 for the software that enables them to do so. She paid the $1,800. They transferred her money into a crypto wallet, a private wallet address that she created, and now they're telling her to get the money out of this crypto wallet. She needs to pay another Two thousand seven hundred Australian dollars. So, lady's been on the phone with me. She's given her login details, and I said, "Look, it's not really what I do. I'm the crypto Ponzi scheme avenger. I don't really go after these. I can get your money back, crypto people. However, this one was unusual, and I wanted to share the information. I actually get on the phone call with the scammer, who has a very convincing American voice, who said he is American with plus." 44 phone numbers which tells me he's from the UK and when I confront him about that he comes up with some bogus story really interesting stuff the phone call that I recorded for 30 minutes I'm also asking Vera who lost her money to come on and listen to the recording because she still believes that the scammer could be genuine and she's really thinking about paying $2,700 extra so she can transfer her money out of the wallet address so I wanted to, wanted to show you some telltale signs for things that I actually look at. I'm just making sure I push um, the button. Now, the guy that I talked to, I said to him, are you associated with this private wallet? And he said, no, Vera gave me the address of this wallet and we've put money into it. Now he tells me that he's been corresponding with the private wallet people, which is really unusual because this website is not a proper uh, exchange or a wallet address. In fact, it is a website that's been built on WordPress. And I just want to show you things that I do first. The first thing, when Vera gave me her username and password to log into this website, her password was very basic. Now, anything to do with an exchange would not allow anyone to create a basic password. Also, this website did not have two-step verification. And I don't believe she created any KYC details like you do when you sign up for Binance or Crypto.com. You basically have to just about give blood. Any website that asks you for KYC details, you really want to research where you're giving that information to. So let me show you some telltale signs. We've got, you can get the app from the App Store. So what happens when you click on the App Store link? it takes you to a 404 error page. It means it doesn't exist. They don't have an app. This is just all smoke and mirrors to make you have feel. And the same with um, the Google Play Store. So then you go down the website and you have a wee look and you read all about it. And because you can see figures and you can see familiar names in your brain, it's screaming out to you that this is genuine. So last night when I was recorded this, I could actually log into this website's back end. But since I've confronted the guy and called him a scammer, all of a sudden her username does not work anymore. So if you go private-wallet.net and you go to login, you'll find it is actually built on WordPress. That is another red flag. So then this is the login screen. I've got her email and as I said, I can't log anymore. So what I did is I got the the address and I stuck it into Google and I just basically put scam and then I posted the website address. So then I found that they had actually been talked about on Trustpilot. Now Trustpilot can be your best friend or your worst friend. You can actually hire people to write good reviews in Trustpilot. However, in this particular case, we've got nine people that have wrote bad reviews. So I'm just going to get my computer to read a couple of those to you because in here... Scam and we fake. We learned some other scam stuff. Scam and fake. The crypto accounts are fake, and the owners of the website are working with scam traders. I have a deposit of 80 euros, but my assets are so-called frozen. And that's exactly what happened to Vero. You can see the image behind me, or if I go show the background, she actually, 
I, I've, I've got mixing conversations, but she said she, originally I thought she said forty four thousand, but now I hear that she's lost over maybe a hundred or even two hundred thousand uh, dollars to these scams. So the money that they have managed to recover, they've put into, they've transferred into a wallet address that she theoretically has provided. And this is why I want to get her on the phone call and just clarify exactly what she's doing. And we'll do that in the next clip. But anyway, go back to these here. So what I'm doing, there's a lot of people here that are like Vera. Scammers. Avoid scammers. Calling from numbers. Plus 4131528236246332. Plus 4633323743747. They introduce themselves as payback limited to return some allegedly stolen funds. They have no reliable data about the lost amounts, as well as about your identity, so they will try to find out about you, about your identity to use it in the future. And of course they ask you to transfer some Bitcoin to their wallet. Now Vera said that she did see one of the adverts on a Facebook page, which I will show you. In fact, I'll show you that now. So you might have been scrolling through Facebook, and then all of a sudden you see an advert in here where somebody claims that they've got this. So I've done a video ages ago, and people stroll Facebook looking for everyone that's got something to do with Ponzi schemes and scams. And then they post comments under here claiming that someone helped them get their crypto money back. So let's just read what that is like. I wouldn't have won the case if not for the grant gesture help you offered. Thanks to Dick Sibber Assist on Instagram for accessing and providing essential documents and proofs and their unique skills. I now have complete access to my funds back. Kudos to Dick Sibber Assist for their kind gestures flag of the United Kingdom. Right, and I'm going to show you how we research these guys and show you how fake they are in a few minutes. Right, so now we come back to some of the other scams. So if you went through here, you can basically... I danced into their trap through a... I danced into their trap through a Facebook and they sent a message via WhatsApp, convincing me to invest with them. I had money in my wallet address. I sent 12,000 euros and all of a sudden, I can't withdraw money from the wallet. It was also confusing until I involved up claim, ORG, who infiltrated the wallet and recoup 100%. So you may be doing your research in these scams, you may be reading these bad reviews, and then all of a sudden you find a, a review in here that tells you that there's a, another company that you should be using, um, and it's Payback Limited. So I did that earlier on, and I, I did it last night actually, but I searched for Payback Limited, and then I went into TripAdvisor and read about them. So you've got scammers trying to intercept other scammers' Uh, information by claiming that um, this company is legitimate. So then once again, I'll just show you what I do so you can be a, a detective like me. You get the website address that they are saying they're from and you can look at all the companies that they claim that they have managed to help get people's money back. You get the idea. It looks reasonably professional. This website I did check out. It wasn't built on WordPress. It's another platform I'm not familiar with. But in the testimonials, they've you can put plugins on your website that bring up all the 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 reviews above 4.4. They pay for these reviews. But let's go into Trustpilot. So let's just go um, let's go trust trustpilot.com payback limited. And now we click on this link and we click on this link and we should see reviews about this company that somebody is claiming to be legitimate and there's 11 percent of people here are claiming that this is a scam so my point is there's no way just think about this for a minute if there was a way to get your crypto back after it has been delivered to a wallet address wouldn't the whole industry be the whole crypto industry be jeopardized so a bunch of scammers can go in there and retrieve money that's been deposited into a wallet address. That alone should bring alarm bells. It's not possible for anybody, no matter how clever they are, to retrieve money that has been on the blockchain. Because the whole point of the internet is to have a secure transaction um, and verify things through the blockchain. And, you know, if you read through all these reviews about all these companies that claim to get their money back, it's just bogus information and I'm, I'm not even going to spend much time in it if you don't believe me and you're in doubt then you really need to make contact with me and we can go through it together I'm happy to do that for you but as I said so so far what we've got we've got a a, a WordPress website claiming to be a wallet address where you can tell people to send money now this organization that I was talking to on the phone he was alleged that he was a private investigator and he said that 
Vera gave him the address and he put the money in and he had nothing to do with this company. And as a private detective, I said to him, well, didn't you realise that the private wallet software or the platform that she gave you was a scam? If you're a detective, surely you would have picked that up. And he said he'd, he was not responsible. But then in the next conversation, he states that he was in correspondence with the company at Private Wallet and he knew all the figures and all the sums that she had deposited and also how much money she had to deposit to um, get her money transferred out. There's no money in there. It's all done with HTML code. You know, so I don't need to, if you if you put, as I said, put the website address in here, do a search on the internet and you'll find numerous stories. Now, I'm a YouTuber. Now, I get people because I'm busting Ponzi schemes and scams, and I thank you for your subscription, and I don't even think I've introduced myself, and I'll do that now. I am actually Danny DeHeck, AKA the Crypto Ponzi Scheme Avenger. I got a full page spread in the New York Times about my quest to name and shame anyone running a Ponzi scheme or a scam. I'm here to bust the scammers and expose the people who are promoting Ponzi schemes using multi-level marketing. And I've got quite a lot of... Um, traction for my small community so i do encourage you to support me subscribe provide a comment and if you can if you hit that thumbs up it helps get my videos to a wider audience so when i'm doing my youtube videos i have people posting comments underneath the videos claiming that they can help people get their money back and i block these people and i just wanted to show you quickly some of the names that you can see in here that I've had to block. These are the amount of organizations that have actually claimed they can get people's money back. So don't fall for it because there's literally hundreds of them. And because I'm doing this video and I'm about to interview Vera and let her listen to the conversation I had and I want to hear her feedback, hopefully at the end of this, I'm going to have Vera saying, I believe it's a scam and there's no way I can get my money back. And unfortunately, the type of scams that she invested in, which we'll ask her, are literally there um, for her to learn not to give her money out to things she's not good with. Crypto is complicated, and I don't want to get down a rabbit hole and start talking about what to invest in and what not to invest in. My personal point of view is get a product or a service and, and do an old-fashioned business. Let crypto settle down until you start trying to invest your hard-earned dollars in here. So what I've done is I went to a few... Instagram pages because all these comments that they post on my YouTube channel and on Facebook are telling you to search for them in LinkedIn and I just want to give you a heads up on the type of people that they're doing I'm going to try to make this browser mode so you can see a little bit better now in here this is a typical um, Instagram account for someone who claims that they can help you get your money back not you can click message and message them uh, here's another one this one here was a bit more wary. If you look at that website address, it says We Live Security. And now you click on that website address and, oh, it's gone off. Um, you click on that website address and it takes you to a legitimate company. And I clicked through their website and even found connections to New Zealand uh, people I actually knew. Now that doesn't, just because they've used that website address of a legitimate company does not mean they are that legitimate company. They're doing that to you know, build that relationship with you. But when you click message and you start messaging these guys, I'll show you what happens in a few. Oh, there it is. I oh, know there it is. I just want to bring that website up again. But obviously, this company's on to what these guys are doing, and they've blocked anything from Instagram. But people can use your website address to build credibility. Just be cautious. Everything they say, do not believe unless they can verify. The guy that was talking to me last night on behalf of Vera basically said that he was a government agency, but he could not prove his identity. And every time I challenged him, he actually come back and said, I told you already. And I said, but you haven't proved it. You're not on LinkedIn. You haven't got a government email address. And you're very sketchy about everything you say to me. And then he just starts gaslighting me, over-talking me. I was having an over-talking conversation and it was just going nowhere. Okay, so just to bear in mind, so here's, here's a few of them. Get used to these guys. These are the guys, they use credible photos from other organizations. I'm sure the guy I'm chatting to is not this guy in front of the computer. Your brain is telling you it is. And you've got uh, probably 10,000, probably 100,000 uh, Instagram sites. Now this guy here, uh, you look at the, the name, if you can see it. And I'm going to show you something very interesting in a minute. 
Right, so this is what I've been doing. I've been chatting to the first one, and this is how the conversation's actually going. Hello, can you help me get my crypto back? Thanks for contacting us. How did you lose your crypto? So I gave him some bogus story. When was the invest investment made? I said two or three, four months ago, because I invested three different times. What platforms? Then I showed him that we are all Satoshi. I, I invested in that one. I lost all my money. And I even gave him Garrett's crypto address, if you've been following my other videos, uh, and said that I got scammed $55,000, because I actually have a screenshot from Sam Lee depositing $55,000 from um, Sam Lee from Gareth, Garrett. So Garrett's basically shown the screenshot that Sam sent Garrett to show he's paid, and then I used that as my screenshot to show these guys that I actually did get receive 55 grand. How much was the total scammed in the transaction? How much were you scammed? And then I said, can you help me or not? How much was I scammed? I said, I sent, uh, I sent the wallet address of the scammer. How would you like the funds deposited back to you through? Uh, how? Sorry, I'm going to have to read this because I'm never good at this. And this is pigeon language from their end as well. And I'll put this back onto a screen you can see, which is there. And let's have a listen. Send the wallet address of the scammer. And how would you like the funds deposited to you? Through crypto, right? And then I'm just going to write back. If possible, that would be awesome. Explanation mark, explanation mark. So here they are basically building a relationship up with me basically telling me that they can get my crypto back, easy as pie, no problem. But now he knows that I've said I've invested 55000 and he will come back and tell me that he needs encryption software and he needs me to pay for that license to use that encryption software so they can get my money back. That's what Vera did. She gave them $1,800. I think she told them she either lost 44000 or or 100000 and they will work out that money on whatever it is. It's just ridiculous. So literally, I did a whole video of this about a year and a half ago, and I just thought I'd do a fresh video. So maybe while we're chatting, he may come back. Now, I just want to do a small disclaimer. This video has been recorded in sections. No videographer was harmed in the recording of this video. But some of the facts that I mention in this video aren't quite right. And they are the amount of money that Vera and my Australian friends have actually invested. Because Vera was using my Australian friends, which I can't pronounce his name, which isn't relevant, phone to communicate. So to be clear, Vera, when I read out that message, is, is actually from Vera using my Australian friend's phone. So to be clear, Vera has actually lost $90,000 in crypto opportunities. And she's also been trying to trade her way out of it using a crypto platform that isn't real and not plugged into any real stock exchange. So I just wanted to be clear, just so we know exactly how much money Vera has lost. Now, the reason why that's important is because the crypto recovery company that she's still thinking is genuine, well, I don't think she is actually, I must verify that, but I'm not going to update you, I'll leave it to your imagination. Let's just say that she's still thinking that the guy that she's been speaking to on the phone is actually true and genuine. But the honest truth that he's managed, honest truth of it, he has actually managed to get, uh, as per the background picture, 110 thousand two hundred and eighty five and eighty eight cents don't forget the cents he's actually managed to get that much money back for her so she's actually up on the deal so no doubt she's more excited and she's hoping that she can pay another 1800 us dollars to transfer the money off her private wallet address now do bear in mind the private wallet address is a scam the platform that that is on is actually built on wordpress and she also signed up with a, a dubious a simple password which shows that um, it's not a verified um, wallet to give somebody an address to put the money in. They are all in bed together, these scammers. So that's my point. So, and also, my Australian colleagues, I just want to make clear, he told me, I think he initially invested $45,000 in Hyperverse. And then he went and listened to Carl Miller, whom he also put in another $3,000 US. So did Vera. So Vera's listened to Carl Miller. Now, Carl Miller is one of the guys that I've been scamming. Uh, scamming, I wish I could. Um, I've been trying to expose as a scammer. And she's also listened to him. And it sounds like she's put money in with him as well. Now, the unusual thing about Carl Miller, instead of putting it onto a platform, he gave them an actual bank account to put the money in. We've actually tracked the bank account 
to a company that is registered in Australia and we've actually passed that on to some people who can actually figure out whether that bank account is connected to Sam Lee. So all this stuff, a lot of stuff I do is literally like a jigsaw puzzle. I don't get all the pieces. Now, if I waited to get all the pieces and get 100% verified, I would be called Coffeezilla, but I'm not. And I try to do my best research. So this is my disclaimer. I am literally building a jigsaw puzzle. Some of the pieces that I pick up don't fit and I have to put them back, but I'm not going to stop talking about the picture that I'm seeing if I find a piece that looks like it's going to fit. So I'm trying to do my best here. And I most of my information, I am 98% sure is true and factual. And that's why I give it to you. Otherwise, I might as well park my YouTube channel and do a video once a year, once it's all been signed off with authenticity. I don't know. But you get what I'm saying. I'm doing my best here. Appreciate the support I get from the people. So I just chucked this segment in between a whole lot of others. So I might repeat myself. Don't shoot the messenger. And I'll see, enjoy watching the next clip. Here we go. Well, let's continue. The saga continues. Welcome back. I'm back. Since I did the first part of the recording, some new stuff has happened. And I really want to bring you into the loop. I want you to have a full understanding how these scammers actually work. Now, Vera, I've been told that she may have she invested well over $100,000 in... Um, different different crypto opportunities i'm not exactly sure and to be honest i think i've lost her she's gone a little bit quiet because i've actually asked her friends if she'd be willing to come on and talk to me about her experience while listening to the recording i'm about to play you of the guy i rung up who alleged she was american working out of the uk um just so that we could get her in the right frame of mind so she knows that these guys are definitely scammers because she's still not convinced even though I've proved a lot. But I'm hoping, Vera, when you watch this video, you can see that playing with these guys that claim to get your crypto back is just, they're rampant. And I've got some evidence here. I've been actually corresponding with the guy that I was just showing you about and he's come up and told me where to put my money and what to do. And he's also told me how much money it's going to actually cost me to get my $55,000 back. Now, the interesting thing is they needed a screenshot of my transaction. So Sam Lee gave Garrett a screenshot of $55,000 that was deposited into Garrett's wallet. So I used that. It was brilliant. So then they could actually see that I had actually invested $55,000. Now, if you don't know who Sam Lee is, Garrett, you need to watch my videos. Please do make sure you subscribe, hit the bell, and be notified when new, new YouTube videos come out. And like most YouTubers, it really does make a difference when you hit that thumbs up because it does help these videos get out to the masses because that's how YouTube sends out their videos. At one time, 50% of my traffic for my videos was actually coming from within the YouTube community. Anyway, I'm not going to bore you with that. I'm sure you're here to watch the scam. I'm going to flip into the screen and I'm actually going to bring this guy in a minute. I've set up my camera so that I can actually have a conversation with him and I don't think he'll answer, but I'm going to give it a go and I didn't want to ruin the opportunity without recording live. So just to reiterate what's happening here. I've gone through Facebook and I've gone through my YouTube channel and I've found all the usernames that people tell you to search for in Instagram if you want to get your crypto back. And literally on the left hand side, you can see, I can't even pronounce this guy's name, but um, you can see all the different Instagram accounts that these guys have created, hoping that you will reach out to them. Now, while I was doing this, uh, Instagram chat with these guys that are scammers, I actually lost my Instagram account because they thought I was a scammer and I had to prove that I was a genuine person to get my account back. So it does fathom me how these guys can continuously offer to give people their crypto back and not lose their Instagram account. So the one I've been corresponding with, I don't know who he is, but it says, first of all, I'm just going to read it. Now I might have to get my computer to read it because I'm not the best reader. It says, hello, hoping that you can help me get my crypto back. Thanks for contacting us. How did you lose your crypto? And then I basically said, um, I'm going to have to get the computer to read it because I'll just make a stuff up on it. So let's have a listen if it works. Come on, computer. Read it. It will take a wee while to kick into life. This time. I heard you might have the magical touch to recover my red heart crypto. I've been on quite the crypto adventure and my precious assets seem to have taken an unexpected detour. 
I'm eager to explore any possibility of getting them back. Can you guide me through this maze of uncertainties? I recently invested and we are all Satoshi and Ava and Vdilek. I thought I'd make that up. Um, what was the investment made? A when was the investment made? See, I should have got the computer to read that. I said two, three, and four months ago. I'm trying to make out that I invested in each platform uh, sporadically. I can't even say the word. And then he goes, what platform? So I told them we are Satoshi.org. And then I told them the address that I deposited the money into, which was Garrett's address. So then if they verify it on the blockchain, they can see a transaction for $55,000 did actually happen. And then they asked me anyway, how much were, were you scammed? And do you have any proof of the transaction? So I took a screenshot. I don't know if you're going to see this. Oh, you can. Good stuff. You can see that here's a transaction for 55000 USDT. And there's the um, the wallet address. They don't need this information. They're just doing this because they want to build a relationship up with me. And then he says, how much was your scammed? And I said, well, it was 55,000 K in total. Um, I said, send me the wallet address of the scammer. And how would you like the funds to be deposited uh, you know, through crypto, right? Uh, it's possible if it's possible if possible, I meant to say if possible, that would be awesome. Yes, we can get it recovered. Within minutes, these guys can just go in and grab crypto back of other people. That should be red flags straight away. Imagine the whole crypto industry would literally be jeopardized if you could just go grab your crypto back. You wouldn't need to worry about being scammed if you could just hire a hacker to go in there and grab your crypto back. Um, I said, why the change of mind you blocked me on Instagram. Now, that was when my Instagram account got blocked by Instagram because they thought I was scamming rather than being the crypto Ponzi scheme avenger. Anyway, so I explained that to them, and now we've got another paragraph. How was the payment made? With a what cryptocurrency? BTC, F or USDT? All right, USDT, I said. Um, okay, our team are able to, uh, to do a review on the transaction. There is a chance of recovery. Oh, I'm excited. Great. We usually do charge for our services after the funds are recovered in full, but you would need to purchase a ticket ID to begin the recovery. Uh, without the support ID, the recovery can't begin. Oh my dear. So here I am, I've got an opportunity of receiving my 55,000 USDT back, but I need to buy a support ID. Okay, how do we do that? Um, support ticket ID will be sent to your email. Yeah, I've got a pretty heavy email box, um, so I can afford to give out my email address. But once I've got your email address, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get lots of emails and lots of opportunities sent to me from now on after you receive the funds in full. Okay, so when uh, when you pay for the service, I need to pay for the service. No problem. How much is the service? So the service is now $2,000, even though they normally said it was free. The support ticket is going to cost me $750 USDT. So I'm in New Zealand. That's going to cost me around about four odd grand. Um, and then I said, okay. So then I said, how much of the money have you managed to recover? And he goes back, a lot. <laughs> okay. So all $55,000 are just trying to work out whether I should just cut my losses and pay for the support ticket and your charges. I really appreciate the help. Now, this is where I tried to use some compassion. Listen to this. I really appreciate your help. The money that I used to invest was from my retirement fund. It's all the money I had. I would be using my credit card to pay your fees. So I'm putting a lot of faith in you. My wife passed away just a few days ago. I never told her what I did with her money. However, now I have funeral costs. How long would it take to get the money back? Can we fast track this? Right, Sorry so to hear my problems. Just being honest. So... Basically telling the guy, I've used my retirement money for the initial investment. I have to use my credit card. My wife's passed away, and I am hoping that I can get the money out quickly because I need to pay for a funeral cost. And he's still quite happy to take my money. He understands. He knows what it feels like losing the investment, almost like losing your future. So anyway, uh, sure, we can get um, – sure, we can – yeah, so basically you get the idea. So he's given me – um, it's cointechtickets at gmail.com. He said, basically, email them, ask for a support ID. So this is what I did. I did email them. Here's the email. First correspondence was, can you help me with a support ID? They've come back and said, 
tickets available 750 BTC and given me a crypto wallet address to put the money in. And then I've said the ticket will be sent once your payment has confirmed. So that's where I stopped. I didn't get into it. And then I've got them. I asked him some stupid questions like, how do, how do I tell the ticket support ID who you are? And he's come up with his name, blah, 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 blah. So you get the idea. These guys are just going to take my money no matter what. And um, there's no opportunity whatsoever that I can actually get any of my crypto back. Once it's gone, it's gone. It's not rocket science, ladies and gentlemen. It's the heck science. Um, nothing. Don't. All right. So let's just, I'm just reading some of the comments. If you want, I've got, um, I've got a box here and I'm actually recording and filming live on YouTube as we film this. I thought I'd try something different. I'll leave that box on there for a wee while because I've got some people chucking some questions in there as I'm recording this. Right. So the next thing I did, so that lost all faith. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to ring this guy and see whether he answers. Probably won't, but it's worth a crack, Nige. Okay. So let's, got the camera going <laughs> let's give the scammer a call and let's have a yarn to him and see whether they're willing to talk to us this is a long shot it may not work but i thought i'd give it a go for a laugh and see if they actually pick up all right let's start a call i'm no doubt he's going to message me saying i can't talk right now <laughs> your phone call. Love to hear from you. No answer. Right. So what happened then? We tried to ring up the scammer. He wouldn't answer the phone. I'm not going to pursue it anymore. I literally have I think about 30 different companies or individuals, probably from third world countries, claiming that they can help me get my crypto back. All I did is gave them a crypto address. They managed to find my money <laughs> and they said, it's not a problem. My team is on it and they're able to get my crypto back. It's free of charge, but we're going to charge you a fee, a fee for a ticket. So to get a support ticket, $750. And then the, once they got the money back, they're going to charge me another $2,000. Now, what happened with Vera, if you look at my background picture, you can see that she actually retrieved $110,000 into her private wallet. Now, she might think that is her private wallet, but that private wallet, if you haven't been keeping up with current events, is actually called private-wallet.net. And when you go to this website, I know I've already said this, but just for the people that are just tuning in, Get your private wallet. You look through here, and if you didn't know anything about website design and marketing, you would not know that this is just a WordPress website, which is a basic website in layman's term. You see pictures of all sorts of things. Now, we're going to do a bit more of a deep dive and see what extent we go to. Now, as I mentioned, when you click on Google Play, it goes to a broken link. When you click on Apple Store, it goes to a broken link. Most people don't check or check these things out. No way would a company that was providing a wallet address actually have a website that was so appalling. And if they did, their security is up the walk. Now, Vera gave me her email address and her login. Her, the login was actually a vehicle name and it was like a Holden, um, um, what is it, Holden V8. It was a simple password like that. And I just couldn't believe it. But they didn't ask her to do two-step verification, nor did they refuse to let her have such a simple password. The guy that you're about to listen to claims that he's got no association with private-wallet.net. However, he knew all the figures that we needed to put into there to get the money out. He had already taken $1,800 away from Vera. And now she's been told that she needed to fork out another $1,800 US dollars to get the money transferred into um, USDT or something she could transfer back into her bank account. It's totally bo bogus. I can't express that enough. So there is a couple of other things I did do. I did a search for private wallet, and then I found a whole lot of, uh, I just want to show you, I don't really want to do this again, but I kind of have to, because if you went to privatewallet.net and you went to TripAdvisor, Trustpilot, I should say, Trustpilot, and you type in Trustpilot reviews, you can see they've actually got, I think it was um, quite a few reviews. In total, 
they have, <laughs> I think they have no, hardly no reviews, nine reviews. But if you go through and read the comments in here, and I've done this previously, one of them was, um, is they weren't um, a legitimate company like Payback. And if you go through here again, they mention other companies. So even though the, this is reviews about private wallet, there's comments in here that have been written by other scammers trying to intercept the traffic that are going after trying to recover their funds. And in here it says that you could use Payback Limited. So I did a search on Payback Limited and I found this more professional website that isn't built on WordPress claiming that they have helped people get their money back through other means. So you're with that. So And also you can see they're actually boasting about their Trustpilot reviews. But the plugin they're using on their website, you can choose whether you only show reviews that are 4.5 and above. So you don't get to see the bad reviews on their own website. So go directly to Trustpilot and work it out for yourselves. It's not rocket science, it's the heck science. But this, this website here, so then what I did is I got their website address and I put it into um, Trustpilot. And one of the good reviews I found was this guy, Robert C. Rowland. Now, I did a reverse image lookup on his, um, I read his review, and he's given it a five-star review. He's from the US, and he's only um, given one review. So that there, I think that's what I'm getting from that. Is he only given one review ever? So then I did a reverse image lookup on his picture. So I'm going to do that again. And this is what you can do. So you can't see that picture. Now, this is the tiniest thumbnail ever. So I right-clicked on it, and I go search with Google Images. And over here, you can see I can now find where to buy his shirt. That's not going to be helpful. Find image source. And I found two image sources. The first one was actually Trustpilot. And the second one was his LinkedIn profile. So then I checked on his LinkedIn profile and I found that he has chosen that if we're not connected, that I can't see his profile. But Chuck Rowland is his name, not the name Robert. So in here, I think I found his contact details. Well, not in here. I actually did a search for his name. And then I found his Facebook page. And I can see that he is a Riata. So he's he's got... As contact details. So I've actually sent him a text and asked him whether he could verify whether he actually um, wrote that review or not, just for your argument's sake, because I know he hasn't. And also I sent him an email saying that I'm the Crypto Ponzi Scheme Avenger, and I'm just trying to show people that... Um, you know, that this is a fake review. So what I'm saying, if you want to believe the Trustpilot reviews, you're silly because they can be fudged. And also these companies pay to have five-star reviews or these companies out there that have got systems set up to just write fake reviews. So then what you do is you come back to the original and you go to the top, if I can do this, and rather than looking at the five-star reviews, you want to read the one-star reviews. They're the good stuff. And now we'll have all the one-star reviews telling us it is a scam. Look, three days ago, three days ago, four days ago, four days ago, uh, September the 1st, August the 25th, August the 16th, and all these reviews are basically not rocket science, ladies and gentlemen, but they are telling you that this payback company, which we've gone down a rabbit hole with, is also running a scam. So once again, there's no way you're going to get your money back from any of these companies who claim that they can. Now, I think I've covered it. Now, just so you know that Chuck Rowland here, he's in this video. He's, he's a realtor, uses services as you can. He, in this here, I'm pretty sure this is a legitimate uh, profile of his, but obviously um, not the same name as the one that gave the review. So I've gone back to my guy here. Video chat ended, and obviously I've heard nothing from them. And now we, we're hoping to, get, um, uh, hoping to get the letter from Vera. Um, so much more misleading. Okay, so I've actually got a, a message from um, my informant who's lost the money, and it looks like he's wrote out a story about actually what happened. And I'm going to actually do this live. I may not put this in the real video, but she's actually, this is the actual story of, um, of her and what she's done with her money. Now, I can make this bigger, so you can guys can read it. It's as big as we can go. 
and I want to want you guys to listen to Vera and her story. Now, this is third-hand information, so it may not be credible, and I may not use this in the live recording. You know what, Danny? I am truly ashamed to say it was much more than that. Initially, I got sucked in by an Elon Musk, allegedly, crypto platform, and why wouldn't you follow the richest man in the world? But he misled me. I'm sure I'm not the only one. Maybe I can send him the bill. Persons sued Red Bull successfully and got a lot of money when they argued that Red Bull did not give them wings. Anyway, a broker from Wall Street Live Exchange of Forks Meet a trader for scam site contacted me by phone and one Matthew Warner sucked me in hook, line and sinker. He told me of a fantastic opportunity with a 72-hour turnaround to double my money. Ugh. Stupid me put 40k odd into that and within two weeks he lost the lot on buying gold, silver, oil and bitcoin when the price was high and selling when he was low. Of course I could get it back if I invested more money. I was shattered. I did not give more dollar sign. In fact I traded on that platform and made close to 100k but they still would not refund my money as they said I was trading with their money. Anyway from that came Hyperverse, introduced by a business associate 45k into that but withdrew 22k before the site froze withdrawals. Those PPL wanted me to join WU Global as it was Bitcoin mining. I did not. Discord was the nominated app to get updates on the Hyperverse situation. That's where I came into contact with Crypto Dundee aka Carl Miller. He suggested Hypernation as that was where Hyperverse would transgress to. I spent 7k odd however it all ended up in a bucket. Carl Miller peddled Viviluk and Wasatoshi but I was not convinced and had no money. There came this fantastic 10 day turnaround being Vav. Which brings us to Discovery of You. Also along the way I dabbled with United Exchange and Blue Royal. 10k between the two, very smooth operators indeed. I thought they can't all be scammers. But they are. A twist with United Exchange, you had to pay an escrow fee. The amount depended on your dollar sign withdrawal which would be refunded when determined you were not an American citizen. Anthony Charles was his name. He was very convincing. I didn't bite. Then there was the recovery bombardment of operators. Prob $7,000 all up there between hackers buying a code on the dark web to Freddie Collins from me to quotes financial. All up the amount is close to $90,000. What a total waste of friggin' money. Alrighty, so there you go guys. This is the sort of emails that I get every day. People ask me if I'm doing this for YouTube clicks. Yes, I want to get out there as much as I can for my YouTube channel, but when you hear stories of people who have been hoodwinkled out of 90Ks, um, they said that he trade. He said he traded on a platform and he got up to 100k. It's a monopoly. You're not not plugged into a real exchange. So this guy has actually lost 90k, thinking he's in control of his money. In the meantime, these scammers actually are taking their money away. Now that that was his story. That wasn't Vera's story. Vera's story is something else. So I really do thank these people reaching out to me. Don't think that you're alone at losing your money to these scammers. I mean, it's actually upsetting to me to hear these people's stories. You know, now, this guy has actually been buying me cups of coffee to thank me for my time and actually shedding some more light and actually just what happens. Now, he could be the man at the casino um, or the deer in the headlights, and he's a stunned mullet. He doesn't actually know what's just happened to him. He's still trying to figure out how can people be so blatantly uh, crook the way they just take the money i mean i just told the scammer that my wife had passed away and i'd used all my um retirement funds in the initial investment and i would be using my credit card to pay his fees and they don't show any compassion he just says oh i understand what it's like to lose money and here's our crypto wallet address give us more so if you're really thinking about it you know why do these guys why is danny so ruthless now i'm not going to do my intro now, but I am going to let you listen to the guy who I talk to face to face. And I, I'm going to show you a couple of other things because people go, oh, you're very aggressive and you get stuck into these guys. And I'm going too right. I had a conversation with a lady and some of these videos are really starting to get some traction on Google now, which is really exciting for me because I've done over 400 videos. And one of the videos I did recently was of this lady, and she told me that she had lost $45,000 in Hyperverse, but you're still, and she wanted to tell me her story so she could help others. And halfway through our interview, she decided it would be a good idea to try and sell me another Ponzi scheme. 
And I basically slaughtered her on the internet. I called her a witch. I called her the devil. I said she's sleeping with Satan. And she was, oh, 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 how can you say that? Well, I don't care. Now, I'm on a Telegram group at the moment called Vidi Look Lawsuit. Lawsuit. And in there, people are trying to gather evidence so that they can go after Sam Lee for stealing millions of their dollars. And I'm in there putting photos of his wedding. And people say, oh, don't put photos of his wedding. That's not very nice, Danny. And I'm going, oh, I don't care. Because I've also found out the guy's got four mistresses now. We found two, and now we've found one. And there's meant to be another one that theoretically, and somebody said that Sam's got 20 or 30 different mistresses all spread around the world. Anyway, and I put that Sam had an STD in there. People go, oh, don't say things like that in here. And I go, well, I know what STD, STDs, I can't say it, but you know what I mean? And I'm not pussyfooting around, and nor should you. My advice is become a evangelity, a evangelity, a evangelator. A Somebody goes after these bastards. Don't wait for the legal system to catch up with them. It's just criminal. Right, so I want you to listen. I'm going to do an, an intro after this video. Now, this is just me doing a bit of a rant on something I'm not really versed on. As I said at the start of this video, I don't normally go after the crypto recovery people. I have done a couple of videos in the past, but I keep hearing that these people that have been scammed are getting scammed again. And I'm thinking, oh, what are we going to do? So I'm doing a video telling you guys to wake up. Anything, anything to do with crypto, these guys are ruthless. They will take your money. So stop and get Hire a financial advisor. If you've got money to burn and you want to invest it, hire a financial advisor and get proper advice. And for God's sake, people, listen to them. Don't pussyfoot thinking that you are an investigator because I see it time and time again. This guy that sent me the message who's lost $90,000, him and his partner are property investors. He said he's currently living between three houses. To me, without knowing his whole history, sounds like a very successful man, but he's been hoodwinkled out of $90,000. His friend Vera, which this whole video was about, doesn't seem like she wants to come on and debunk the video of the scammer because she's ashamed probably of what has happened to her. Now, this is the saving grace for the scammers because people don't want to do anything about it and they don't want to name and shame. These people just get away with it. So if you have got the balls to come on a video with me and record it and tell me your story, you're going to help others. And there's no shame in having your money taken. I mean, what I noticed with our friend over here, he was told that he was going to double his money. Um, somewhere along there is double his money within a week or 24 hours. That's incredible. That's too good to be true. Hey, let's fade in. Listen to this, this me having a go at this guy. And really appreciate your comments in the comment section. And then I will um, see you at the end of this uh, recording as I faded in. Thanks for listening. Hello? Yeah, g'day. Is that Freddie, is it? Yes, sir. Oh, how are you doing? Um, Vera asked me to give you a call so we can sort of work out what's happening yes. with this, um, this money. Yes, sir. Yeah. And whereabouts are uh, you from, mate? All right, so... Do you have any questions regarding that, or oh, I just do you wonder, want to know what? Uh, what yep, no, I was curious what your role is on it, or what, who are you? All right, I work for Metacodes. Metacodes is basically one of the bigger provider for. I work for the investigation department of Metacodes. Metacodes is one of the bigger software that provide all the the license, and uh, we build software for all the trading companies in the market. Okay. And it seems that they have been scammed with one of the big platforms. And uh, we blocked them out of the system and found uh, uh, funds that belong to customers. And, of course, after a long investigation, it's take about a year, uh, we are eligible to send the funds back to, to the clients, but we have to contact and verify them. I could, I could. Uh, we did it with Vera. We provide her all the funds. She applied for the wallet that she has. Uh, it's called Private Wallet. We provide all the funds to her. Yep. And uh, through the authority, they ask for um, approval funds uh, since you have a gain in profit on that wallet. And all that you have left as a balance is uh, 1800 US dollars. Okay. And, and she's already paid you guys some money for retrieving the funds. Is that correct? 
Yes, she already provide. If I'm not wrong, because it's been about three months ago, I think she provides twenty three hundred or three thousand something around there. All right. And what was that money for? Uh, that's called a proof of funds, and it's come directly from the authority of the FCA. Uh, they basically, she don't pay it. It's go into the wallet as a proof of funds. This is her wallet. It's not, no one is wallet. It's basically something she provided registered. It's right. called private wallet. It's like having a cold wallet. Okay. She has to provide it to the wallet. It's a, it's Let's call it a middleman that we provide the funds over there. And since the money came out of the scam activity, so uh, the government has to have an approval fund. Okay, so the so money that you retrieved... To us or to anyone else, she provided to herself. So the money that you retrieved from her, where did you retrieve that money from? So, like I told you, this company that been scammed her called Blue Royal Investment, they yep. basically used to run with us for about uh, two years. And unfortunately, we built them the software and gave them license to trade in the market. And they turn into a scam. They have not provided funds back to clients. So we had to block them out of the system since we're receiving a lot of calls back from clients that uh, they don't receive any funds back. So we blocked them out of the system. We found the funds there and we provided back to the clients. We basically reversed it back to her. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Oh, it's quite complicated, isn't it? Uh, it is. There is a lot of uh, requirements from the government when it's come to crypto. There is a lot of scamming going on in, in, the, in the platform, and we had to shut down all of them since they was using our software. Right. So by law, we have to send that funds back to the client. And uh, at the moment, we provide her almost, um, she got back almost $105,000. Yeah, and now she had to provide five percent of um, it's five percent of proof of funds into her wallet. Now she already provide about, if I'm not wrong, because it's been about three months ago. I have to log into her case, but she provide about three thousand, and she have about uh, seventeen, eighteen hundred left on the on the balance to receive it. Right, and the private... and again, she don't provide it to us or anyone else. She basically put it in her own wallet. So are you? Part of private-wallet.net. Is that? Are you part of that? Oh no, no, no! I represent Metacode. Private Wallet. It's a private uh, company that just provide a wallet like any other exchange wallet, like Binance, like any other crypto wallet. Right. She registered to the wallet. She have the access. This is her own wallet. It's not our wallet. Okay. So, we just provide the money to the wallet she provide us. So she had the private wallet. We provide the money there. She can log in. She can see everything there. Nothing been moved. It's all her. Uh, we have no access. She the one that have access. I just made sure she will finish the process that we will be eligible to uh, claim for the funds and close that case that she will be available to send the money back to her uh, to her bank. All right. I see. So what do you want from her now? You want an eighteen hundred dollars and seventy four, eighteen seventy four seventy seven. Uh. Uh, we checked yesterday. I don't know because I don't have any access to the wallet, but uh, they did provide her a balance that I have left. Uh, I put it on a record. Let me just log in and see, okay? So I, uh -huh. I just don't have access to that. So one second. Uh, in AUD is 2800 and it's 0 0.06841388. That's what I wrote down yesterday when I talked to her. That's what she told me. And that's what she have, she have as a balance. So basically, it's $2,803. Uh, that's an Aussie dollar, not an AUD. Yeah. It's not a, a USD. So if you put it on USD, let me tell you exactly. AUD to USD. That's seventeen hundred and thirty nine dollars. Okay, so I'm looking correctly for um, today because it's always changed through the crypto. Yeah. So how do I how do I know who you are, mate? Uh, do, do you need any? I tell you what, I cannot provide you specifically any documents because you're not part of the case, and this is really private wallet that belongs to Vera. Yep. I told her yesterday she has to be involved in the conversations as well, that she will give me permission to send you any documents regarding that. 
I already provide her everything. She have, as far as you see, she have our phone numbers, WhatsApp, emails, everything she wants from Metacode, and we provide her all the documents she needs. Okay. So if she will, she she will jump into the call and give me a permission to send you any documents. I will, but I'm not allowed to send you specifically because I don't know who you are and what part of you are the case, and we have to contact the account holder that is Vera in order to share any info. Right. But if you have any questions, she told me you're going to call. And that's the so reason isn't I that what you just, just said? Info because she said you're going to help her or something. Yeah, but so then that's you... the reason I share with you all the info, but I can't provide you any. But you any will if she rings up. And, but you will if she rings up and asks you to, even though she's told you that I'm going to call. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, of course. But I need to, I need to get a permission to, to send any info that belongs to her. You understand? Right. right. Not disrespect you or something, sir, but. By law, I can share documents that. Uh, so I, I, forget about case, so I have no, forget about her. Here. Um, how do I prove you are Freddie Collins? How do you prove you're an individual and you work uh, for the company you said you work for? You can you can contact Metacourt as well and ask for everything, and of course that I send their emails and everything with all my contact and all my. my well, I've got I've got your I've got you your have email, everything. I've got your email address here, mate. Um, so if I go to, okay. um, let's have a look at your email, I'll just grab it. Um, I've got it on my phone actually because I've put you in there. So let's have a look. So MetaQuotes Financial, is that you, is it? Or is that, is Correct, that, sir. And it's you are, not me specifically. It's not me specifically because um, we, I contact the finance department that we have, the financial department of MetaQuotes, to release the funds. Okay. So any emails she provides going into the community of Metacodes and is going to the financial department. All oh, right, I see. But this has come from Metacodes, correct? Yes. So like Medi any email Medicos she will send, financial. they will provide it to me since I'm the one that take care about her case. Oh yeah. I will be you're, involved. You're pretty good at over talking me, mate. I can't. Out. I can't compete if you want to over talk me. If you want to have a conversation, but what I'm getting at is that domain name that you have used for your email address doesn't actually go to a website. So it's just a made up. It looks like a made up domain name. So metaquotes.financial doesn't exist anywhere. Uh, it's not supposed to be existent. It's a support email. Oh, I if get you it. want an email, you can go directly to Metacodes. You have to understand, you have a support email to contact with us, and you have the actual website. So you have the metacodes.net, and you have the support Metacodes. All oh, right. So, so how do I know, how do I do. link the two together? You have to go to metacodes.net. Yeah, but then I don't know that you are linked Metacruise. together. Metacruise.net is the website. Do I? I don't know that I mean, you're linked. You could be anyone, couldn't you, email. really? So but do, do like you not I have said, a LinkedIn have page? The, do you not have a LinkedIn page? Uh, in the email specifically, no. So you are you personally not on I LinkedIn? come from the support. Are you personally not on LinkedIn at all? You have no identity? Oh, and link, LinkedIn. No, specifically me, I'm not. Right, why is that? I don't see any reason to be on uh, LinkedIn, sir. Well, it would help people get a bit of credibility about you. I just work for the investigation department, sir. I'm well, not, not a trading company well, or, you... or, or, or a broker or something that I have to provide. We normally, I, you have to understand, Metacodes normally I don't, have don't to provide under, service I don't, to private people. Excuse me, mate. I don't have to understand anything, but you, you've actually told me that the lady's given you, you're an investigator. And you've you've asked the lady to set up a private wallet on a website that's built on WordPress. So if you go to private I hyphen wallet, you'll see it's built on WordPress. It's not even a proper exchange. It's not even a proper private wallet. What do you mean by that, sir? Well, if you go and type into your web... So she's, you've given her access to private hyphen wallet.net. And you've said that's her private wallet. And you've told me that you've sent money to her private wallet address that's on a WordPress website. I don't know what, how do they build that website, but it's every other website have the same, like medical.net have no, the, you know. No, mate. You, you, own website, you mate have, if you don't exist and your email isn't linked to the company you represent, I have no reason to believe you at all. You don't have to, sir. If you don't, like I said, like I already been with Vera for a long time. I provide her everything. I've never asked her to provide me any. Well, you've seen me. Private wallet, it's something separate from us. Yeah. And I 
Whatever, mate. You know, I don't know how they provide all the... And whereabouts are you really from? Are you from Nigeria? Originally, or I'm from Kenya? the U.S. Are you really? Originally, I'm from well, the U.S. Oh, yeah. Well, can I get you to go to my website and have a look and so I can see your IP address? You want me to go to your website? Yeah. What website is it, sir? Um, it's dhek, D-E-H-E-K dot com. Okay. How is going to help you to figure the all that stuff because i bust oh, i bust scammers for a living and i'm a youtuber and i've been investigating okay. you but you don't exist and i think you're full of shit okay if that's what you think you no, really that's don't what have i know mate regarding that case. that's what i know and you've just put on an american accent and you scam people for a living if that's what you think sir no I no that's what go. i know i'm not making this stuff up you have got no proof that you. No, have I, I, I respect. I explained you everything since the first moment I contact Vera. We've been talking. You know, you have our phone numbers, everything. It's not about if I have an American accent or something. I think it's disrespectful to even come up with. So that. you're working since out of I America provide, you know, and you've got UK phone numbers. Can you explain that for me? It'll be a good story. Because I'm originally from the US, but I basically allocate in the UK and I work for a company that's based in the UK, sir. All right. So are you in the UK now or in America now? Things. Correct, sir. Yes. Right. You haven't answered. You haven't right answered now. my question. We're about to tell you me? now. <laughs> what was your question, sir? Whereabouts are you physically now? UK, sir. Right. And you just told me that you're working out of the USA. No, I said you asked me where I'm from and where is my accent from. I told you I'm originally from the US. Right. But you're just scamming people, mate. Haven't you got better things to do? If that's what you think. It is what I think because opinion. I know I'm, I, bust, you and I'm not gonna, I bust I'm not Ponzi gonna schemes try and to I bust. You differently. Oh, really? So you've just stolen $1,800 of this lady and you're going back for another scoop for another 1800 No, sir. I have never touched anyone's money and she don't have to provide it. And like I said, she don't provide it to me or to anyone else. This is her own wallet. She registered to that wallet. And she, I send the money to the her, her one wallet, and did everything you, is there. Did sir. you send? Like, and like I said, did you send one hundred and ten? Hey, did you send one hundred and ten thousand dollars to a WordPress? Not even, excuse me, sir. I respect you. I respect you. No, Can you I don't. A You're second? a friggin' scammer. If I can't speak, so please don't don't contact me anymore, okay? Because you're not part of the case. You try to help a lady, what part of and the I case? help her as well, and I respect part you. Part of what case? And it's totally fine, okay? I'm not. I don't need to get that things from you. I, oh, I you're a scammer, I, scammer. Explain you everything. I share with you. Info you haven't shared anything, mate. You're you're, and you're a not scammer. To keep talking. It's totally keep fine. gaslighting. I don't need to get that. How thing. do you sleep at night, you scammer? How do you sleep at night? Is this what you do? Oh, well, didn't admit he was a scammer, which I was hoping to get him out, but eventually hang up on me. So I'm just going to give him another wee ring back, if you don't mind. Let's see what we can do now. Hello. Why did you hang up on me? Is that the way you treat your customers? I have to talk to you, sir. You're calling from anonymic uh, phone number. You you accusing me for scamming uh, people, and I'm not interested to keep talking to you if you're not part of the case. And you keep talking to me like there I'm, is there is no case, like, mate. I'm, what I'm trying to get is a bit of truth out of you. Okay, you've got eighteen hundred dollars from this lady already, but why don't you leave her alone and see? I didn't. Keep I have not got anything. And listen, sir. Listen, please listen to me because I'm I no sir. You and you don't respect me. I explain Why you should I respect you? I, I don't know who I am. You want. I provide service. If no, you, you don't, don't believe it, please don't contact me anymore. Are you going to hang up again? Not, Is that I'm how you treat your customers? And I'm not disappear anywhere. You, uh, if you were a proper investigator, you'd you stay on the info. phone. I'm not interested to convince you differently if you keep excusing me Scammer. and like, disrespect me. Is he going to hang up on me now? I'm totally honest with you. Oh, you are not honest. I'm, not I'm trying to have a conversation with you and you just keep gaslighting me, you piece of shit. How do I live with it? 
I'm not doing it, and he's not part of my job. You're a scammer. I'm an investigator, and I work for. You a are not an investigator because there's no that, footprint. Please don't come. You are lying, anymore, and yeah. you, you wimp, you, you coward. Are you going to hang up on me? Is that how you handle it? You can't ta- handle the truth. You've got no evidence proving that anything no, it's not you say about is true. That. I explained to you multiple times, and you keep you keep going. You don't, there, you don't so prove it. You you just using words. You that can you've tell learned. me. Listen, you can tell oh, me. F- you can tell me as a respectable person. I'm not interested to cooperate with you. We can hang up the call nicely and we can move on. But if you keep going there and keep, you know, accusing me and, and accept me to answer you that, I'm not going to go there. I respect you. If that's what you think, why do you keep contacting me and call me? I want you to prove that you are someone genuine. You've got no evidence of it. I did tell you all the answers you need. You no, don't you have told to provide me. me. Hold it. Hold it, mate. Get off your Any high fun? horse. Get off your high horse and listen to me. You're telling me shit. I want you to prove it. Prove that you are who you so are. If I'm telling you shit, why do you keep contacting me? Why because do you, you don't prove. You're not, even you're not willing. If you were a proper there, investigator, you, you would prove why who you do are. Why do I need to deal with you as a person? You're not even part of the case. What case? You're not even part of the case of Vera. That she's the one that's been scammed. Where's with your office? Royal investment that Where's your office? I don't understand. Why do you keep contacting me? Because why you do don't. You keep calling you're just making up stories. You've got no operate. proof. Keep talking over me, but you don't have any proof of where you are or who you are. You're just telling me lies, and I'm asking you to prove it, and you refuse I to. I told you you can put Vera on the phone. She will okay. give you the okay. proof that you all right. are part we'll of add, it. I'll add I Vera. I will be more than happy to share with you all that info. I don't okay, mate. Why do you keep Excellent. going there? Hey, 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 wait a minute. You... Wait a minute. We'll get her on the phone. I can merge her into the phone call. She's been listening, and, the, and so we just need to get Vera to ring us. Phone me now, and I'll merge her into the phone call, all right? Okay. Yep. We'll see if I can do it. Might, if not, I'll ring you back in a few minutes, and I'll merge the phone call. No problem, sir. And can you prove who you are then, can you? Can you take me to well, a website? What do you need for me to prove you? I'm just asking you. Because you're handling a hundred and ten. Prove you. Because you're handling a hundred and ten thousand dollars of a lady claiming that she needs to pay five percent of that money into a fake wallet address. That's why. A fake wallet address. Well, you've just told her that you've given her a private hyphen wallet dot net, and it's just for crazy. So um, I'll just bring, I'll bring him in. If you just hold for a second. Right, we're just going to merge uh, phone calls. One second. Right, can we merge? We're trying to. Did you try to call me from a different number? Or are you trying to connect their call? I'm trying to connect their call. So just. Uh, but listen, can I tell you what's your name? No, not for a minute, mate. Wait until we get the. You wanted her, so I'm getting her. So no point telling me anything yet. I mean, your name. Um, trying to merge the phone call. Why won't it merge? All right, I'm going to do this again. Um, is Vera there? Yeah. Yep. He, he, he wants me to um, – I'm just going to go add to the call. He wants me to do something crazy, so I'll just, I will just add him on the call. Might be a second. Um, now, what number did I ring? That was the top one. Okay. Just let me do the talking if you need to. But um, you there, Freddie? No, he's hanging up now. Um, how do you do this? Add. Are you there, Vera? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I'm just trying to add him to the call, but he keeps hanging up now. Yeah, so, so what was your take on it? Is, is, this, is he for real? No, he's not for real. It's just so hard convincing people because I've sat here badgering him, asking him for it to prove his identity, and he keeps telling me. And I said, no, I need proof, mate. And then he won't. Yeah. So he's, um, you know, and then I, he said, I told you. And I said, no, you haven't sh- you've told me, but you haven't proved it. I said, why aren't you on LinkedIn, for example? Mm. And then he, yeah. he's getting shitty. I'll just try this again. Are you there, Freddie? Hello? 
All right, Freddie. Hello. Hi, it's me again. We're just Good. trying to merge the phone call. All right. And it won't merge for some reason. Wonder why it won't merge. Anyway, Freddie, um, I need some proof that you are a real genuine person. And okay, it, can I get your first name? Yep, Danny. D A N N Y. Okay, Danny. And Thank then you. the last name is D E H E K. And you can search YouTube and you'll see my videos. I've done 500 videos, name and shaming people who are running Ponzi schemes and scams. Okay. No problem. I, I'm not going there. I just want to know who I'm talking to that related to that case. Yeah, sure. And I, I actually have um, connections in higher places than you probably can go, mate. Okay. So if you want to, like, if your name's real, then I should be able to verify you're a real person. But at the moment, I can't, hence why the phone call. Hence why I'm politely giving you respect, asking you to prove that you are someone real. Because at the moment, I don't believe you're in the UK. I don't believe you're an American. I believe you're running out of uh, Section 5, whatever it's called, in India. Okay, sir. Okay. Um, as far as right now, that's what allocates for that case, and that's what needed to be done uh, from Vera's side. Um, there's no case, like said, mate. I'm I mean, not going to keep. I'm not. The game is up. I don't. I'm not. I don't need to sit here and convince you differently. No, but there is no um, case, mate. So I'm not going to listen to your way, bullshit, mate. So ring up Vera. Okay. Right? Nope, nope. Okay. Problem. Ring up. Ring up Vera, and ask her if you're allowed to tell me anything and everything. How's that sound? So Vera, I have my phone number. She can contact me as well. And she told me. I talked to her today, and she said like the guy was supposed to call you. You did call me. I'm understand where is it going for. So I'm not willing to put any any efforts in that case. If that's what you come up with and that's what you think, just keep it that way until she will figure what to do with her case. That's what she needs to require for her own wallet. I have no connection to private wallet or something like that. I'm just trying to help her to finish that case and move so, on. So uh, I don't want to waste your time. I respect you. Did you put money? Did you transfer the money into private wallet? Yes, sir. So you transferred money into a WordPress website? I That's the address you provide me, and I provide the funds there. Well, it's not a proper... Not me, like it's, the it's, finance department. It's Well, it's not a proper website, and it's not a proper exchange, and it's all done with smoke and mirrors, people pasting and cutting with the HTML pages. So it's, it's not even a real exchange. Okay. So if you're a private investigator, okay. wouldn't you have investigated that in the first place? All right, uh, Danny, I respect you. Um, you can't I answer that feel question. Like I'm under investigation. No, you are I'm not interested to move mate, on with Next that. time I go to section okay, six or five in India, you. I'm coming to see I you, mate. I will respect you, Danny. I will respect you talking over me. I will respect you. What the I'm hell? You've been talking over me for the whole me. phone call. So I look forward to when Vera okay. rings you up and I tells will, you to I listen to me. Okay. You. Don't forget am, who you work for, buddy. I'm respecting you. Don't forget who you work okay, for. Sir, you work for the crypto day. Ponzi scam adventure. Oh, you wish me that, do you? Friggin' scammers. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. It was breathtaking. Sometimes when I'm listening to these guys um, who are uh, trying to prove they're legitimate and they just keep t talking over me, you, you lose yourself. And these are the techniques that they use to stop people um, basically exposing them. So even myself, I must admit, I found it a hard job trying to come up with some sort of rock solid evidence that this guy is a scammer. And that that video that you just watched was happened happened in my life about forty, probably forty eight hours ago. So I've had some good time to think about it. Can you imagine someone from a government organisation not being able to verify who they are? I've talked to people from government organizations in my line of work and they email me from their office email address with the official email address from a government organization. If somebody has managed to reclaim a $100,000 worth of your money, I don't actually think they would talk to you about depositing the money back to you via crypto. A lot of these government organizations obviously um, are getting people's money back that have lost money in crypto. Government organizations do not transfer money back to people without signing documents and real real documents and depositing it into people's money if they have the money. 
Everything this guy said didn't make sense. It was his word against my, my brain. These guys do it every day. When I was a Jehovah's Witness, I got kicked out of that organization when I was 23 years of age. I used to literally spend 60 hours of my time each month knocking on people's doors. You would knock on their door and you would say, Hi, I'm Danny. I'm one of Jehovah's Witnesses. I'm calling in the neighborhood today. And they'd cut you off and say, oh, Look, I'm not interested. And then what you could do is you could walk out the drive and go to the next neighbor and have the same introduction. Or you would say, oh, is it Jehovah's Witnesses that you're not interested in? Or is it religion? 90% of people would say religion. And I say, well, I could understand that because religion is responsible for a lot of the mayhem in the world these days. Wouldn't you agree? And then you would open the Bible and you'd, before you know it, you'd be chatting to him. Thank God I don't do that anymore. But what my point is, every obstacle that's thrown at these scammers, they have an answer for it. The more people they scam, the more answers they have. So you, when you are new to crypto and all the terminology they bamboozle you with, don't think for a minute that you are smarter than them. Some of the cleverest people that have been scammed that I get in my inbox every day are successful people in business. They have been tricked out of their money. Some fundamentals if you're thinking about investing in a Ponzi scheme. The first one is, does it involve crypto? Now, you've seen when they go in on the Olympics and they welcome the countries and they have one of those big flags. Anything to do with crypto is waving a big red flag. I'm not against crypto. I understand how crypto works, but this is not crypto. They are using crypto to get your money. The second red flag is, does the, the system or the platform that you're using have some sort of affiliate or some sort of multi-level marketing component? Meaning, if you sign up and you refer Jimmy down the road, do you get some of his money for when he signs up? Some of these platforms like Hyperverse, 52% of the money that got introduced into the platform got paid out to people that were promoting it. Now, I'm not going to name any other schemes, but there's tons of them out there that give you a healthy reward for referring people into it. And they encourage you to recruit. Now, I've been following We Are All Satoshi, and they've just got rid of Sam Lee, and they've brought this other guy, Shavas, which I now have his full name, um, and I'll explain that in another video. And literally, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, I forgot what I was going to say. So uh, crypto reward system... Um, they are, oh yeah, they are teaching people to become affiliates. Now, if you look up, go to Chat GPT and ask it, what does crypto affiliate marketing mean? It will tell you that you need to start producing YouTube videos, advertising content. You need to start marketing yourself. And if you go through my shorts, you'll see I've done about four or five different shorts. And the people that are coming onto the screen doing video testimonials saying how wonderful we are Satoshi is, don't know the ass end of a computer. So what I'm getting at, is for you to be successful at doing affiliate marketing or multi-level marketing, they need to train you. And that's what they're doing. They're training you to recruit. So if it involves recruitment and you get some sort of reward, that's flag number two. So the first one, what is it? It's crypto. Simple, big flag. Second one, if you need to recruit or has a reward system, which pays you reward for introducing new people. And the third one is do they? what do they offer you if you invest in them? What is it? Do you get three times your money back within a certain amount of days? For example, 30% of the money put into We Are All Satoshi gets put into a visible vault horizon. And now they've had all their money stolen, but don't worry, the money that you can't see in this vault horizon is safe. 30% of all the money that's ever deposited into the platform is tied up in a vault horizon. And my keys, my crypto, Sam Lee, theoretically, it was his company. He got kicked out. The leaders kicked him out. Who's got the keys now? The new tech guy, Chavez. And theoretically, I heard, I don't know if it's correct, but somebody said there was a figure like 271 Bitcoins had been purchased, which is times 30,000 each. There's a whole lot of money tied up in this vault horizon. And some other earth-shattering things, if you have been following the sagas of We Are All Satoshi, I, got, I get a lot of correspondence from people that actually work with Vidilook team. One of them's told me that he was instructed to set up a YouTube channel called 600 Days. 600 Days? That's because we are Satoshi in 500 days are theoretically hoping that Bitcoin is going to be worth $100,000. And if it's not, they have a backup plan. They're going to start doing a 600-day marketing strategy. And then when that 
when crypto isn't worth $100,000 each, because that, that's what's needed for it all to work, they're going to keep extending it 700 days, 800 days. You'll never get your money back. There's no money in the vault horizon. These guys are scammers. Sam Lee, he's on these videos drunk. I got a cracker video of him yesterday. I put it on there. Have a look at that. But these guys are not the people with your money. In my opinion, there's a criminal network much larger than you can actually see manipulating people like Chavez, Sam Lee, um, Viv Vivid, whatever his name is. I call him Viv Vivid. <laughs> but what, I'm not actually sticking up for Sam Lee or um, Chavez or anything. But what I'm telling you is they're not the ones that have the money or have stolen your money, in my opinion. They're, they're, they're just part of a big criminal network. And they're all circus clowns doing the performance of a lifetime, trying to entice you to part with your money. Hope this video has been useful. I've hoped it's shed some more light. Please do provide comments below. Tell me what you thought about what I said. Um, you know, obviously Vera is a bit too shy to come on and talk to me about the video that you just watched of that guy. But we've got to start fighting back with these scammers. Now, I'm... Evangeliti, I can't even say it. I can say philanthropist, but I can't say ev Evangeliti. Evangeliti, ev Evangel I can't even say it. But I'm I'm out there naming and shaming these people who are running Ponzi schemes and scams. And I really value having you as a subscriber. I hope you've enjoyed my video and we'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.